the six-year elementary school life in the happier stage in the academic career of most every Chinese. Parents drop out their children at the school gate at 7:80 a.m. every morning. School guards stand guard on both sides of the school gate with folks. Children line up to the left and right at school entrance. This is often a very busy time. Good friends will get together to discuss interesting things. Some gluttonous children will go to the small store to buy some snacks. By eight, students are allowed to enter the school. There are four classes in total in the morning. There is a 20-minute break between the second and third periods, where the children are free to move around. If it rains, the female teacher will take the children to dance in the classroom. The male teacher will take the children for a walk under the roof of the school building. After two afternoon classes, the children first took turns skinny up. Then it was time for the happiest moment of the day. They can play soccer to their heart's content on the playground. They can squat on the ground and play with glass balls intensely. Or they can play basketball or take pictures. Often they don't go home until it's dark. Every year June 1st is Children's Day in China. This morning, the school will hold various performances in the playground. The children compete to show their talent. In the afternoon, the children bring their favorite snacks from the home to the classroom. They sit around and play games while eating. The winner of the game will also get a prize from the teacher. In addition to the activities at school, children also go to the community events during the festival. Here they sell or exchange crafts they made, and wanted toys and picture books they read. The money received is sent to poor elementary school students in the mountains. After three years of elementary school, they will join the first social organization in their lives, one after other. This organization is called Young Pioneers. I remember well wear a gray scarf. The first time they wore the red scarf is a proud moment for them. 